The line x plus 2y is equal to 9, so this is the equation of a straight line. Now we can see the line intersects, so this is a very good thing to know. It meets, it cuts the curve x, y plus 18 equal to 0. Okay, now it meets the curve at two points. We have point A and point B. These are the points of intersection. Now find the coordinates of A and B. So pretty easy. The main idea is that, for example, here we have a curve. A curve could be in a shape. Let's say the shape is something um, like this. Why not? Something like this. Right. Now, this line is a straight line. Let's say the, the line looks like this. For example, right? This will be the first point and the second point where they meet. The first one is the point A and the point B. So the idea behind this is we just have to find the point A and B and as we can see they are the points of intersection. Now whenever you see intersection cuts or meets it means it will lead to a or solving a simultaneous equation. So always remember this. If you guys don't know what to do it will always lead to these kind of questions. It intersects, meets, uh, cuts, it will be these kind of questions. So step by step, here we have two equations. This is my equation, number one, my equation, number two. So let me write this down. So we have first, x plus 2y is equal to 9. Now here we have xy plus 18 is equal to 0. Now let's begin with the first equation. So I can see clearly that I can make x become the subject pretty easily, so that will give me what? From here I will have x is equal to 9 minus 2y. That is, put my x as the subject of formula. Now again, here I'm trying to solve the simultaneous equation, and I'm trying to solve by the method of substitution. So, I have x here, I have x here, so I replace in this spot, so I know x is also equal to 9 minus 2y, times x, times y, sorry, and plus 18 is equal to 0. Now we have to solve this. Let's try to solve this. So you will have 9y minus 2y squared plus 18 is equal to 0. Okay? Now let's do something. Let's send everything to this side because here we have minus 2y squared. I don't like to work with, with negative sign. Let me send everything to the right hand side. You will have 2y squared minus 9y plus 18, sorry, minus 18 will be 0. It is minus, not plus. The sign will change, right? Now, as you can see, this one will be a simple quadratic equation. So let's try to solve this. So factorize. So here we have 2y squared, that will be 2y times y. And what is 18? Let's say 18, we know it is 1 times 18, 2 times 9, or 3 times 6. So we have these uh, few options we can choose from, but the goal here is to get minus 9. So I can try to put 6 here, for example. Uh, it is only done by trial and error, so you have to test. If you don't know what to do, you can always use the formula again to solve this. It will be way, uh, not easier, but way simpler than to think by trial. It's up to you. Now, for example, here I can choose to use this one. So I can put 6 here and 3 here. I need to have minus 9, so 2y times minus 6 is minus 12, and then plus 3y will give me minus 9. And then test, minus, so plus times minus will give you minus, so this is good. Confirmed. So here solving, 2y plus 3 is equal to 0, y minus 6 will be 0. So here we have y is equal to minus 3 over 2, and y is equal to value of 6. Okay, so that will be the first two values of y. Now let's have a look. What are the values of x that we can have? So we place in the x formula right here. So x will be equal to 9 minus 2y. y is this value. And here we have x is equal to 9 minus 2y will be this value. Let's see what do we get. 
So here this will go away, cancel out. Here we have 9 minus, minus minus 3, that will be 12. And here we have x is equal to, this is x obviously, and that will be 9 minus 2 times 6, that will be minus 3. Again, I always recommend using the calculator because it is a way of confirming your answer very easily. Instead of using your mind, sometimes you can do some silly mistakes. So always double check using your calculator. Now, as you can see, we have two points. So this will be my point A will be minus 3, 6. And my point B will be 12 and minus 3 over 2. Okay, now the question that I have some is, why do I choose uh, A to be this one and not this one? It's because the way we think is, in the alphabet order, A comes before B. That makes sense, right? And in the numbers order, we understand that minus 3 comes before 12. That is why we kind of match them together, so that A is before B, same as minus 3 is before 12, so that will belong to A, and that will belong with B. As you can see, these are the two points we are trying to find for question number one, the points A and B. As always, you can always make a drawing to understand what's happening and then proceed by using uh, the, the question, what they are looking for, intersection means solving a simultaneous equation. And that is this question.